Hi everybody, this is Technoli. And today we're gonna do a complete fresh Windows 10 install from a freshly made USB Windows 10 bootloader. I have a link in the description showing you the video on how to make one of these, it's really easy. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the USB slot on this new build we just did. This is that little $300 computer that we did a video in the description and uh, it's amazing how fast this thing is. So what you're gonna need to do is get into your BIOS just to make sure that you have the USB thumb drive set to boot first. Now, on this particular computer, it's a custom built computer and most of them, you just press the delete key to get into the BIOS. You just keep pressing it until it comes up. Now, if your computer's different, Dell, Toshiba, or whatever it is, they're all different, and I'll have a link in the description showing you the different keys that you press to get into your BIOS. So all we wanna do is we wanna go over here to settings, and we wanna go to boot, and make sure down here, boot option number one is set to the USB hard disk, because that is our Windows 10 inst installation. Okay, just go out of that. We're gonna also make sure that we're set to boot in UEFI mode. Okay, and hit the escape on this one to get back to the main screen. Go up to advanced, could be different on yours. And we're just gonna make sure that USB controller is enabled, as you can see, there it is. All right, on this BIOS, you press this X at the top and say yes to your changes. And now it's gonna boot from the USB stick. Now, if you've just built a brand new computer and there's nothing on the hard drive, it's a new hard drive, then you don't have to worry about even going into the BIOS and doing all that stuff because the computer's only gonna see one boot device because there's nothing on the hard drive. So it's just gonna see your USB stick. So this is gonna start booting into the bootloader of Windows 10. And as soon as it pops up, we'll be right back. Okay, once you get to this screen, this is where the fun begins. By the way, if you have any problems with this, with your computer or anything, just comment below and I'll get back to you and help you out and get you through this. All right, so here we're gonna just select our language. Mine's gonna be English. And where we're located, I'm in the United States, and the kind of keyboard that I'm using is just a regular old US. Click Next. Click Install. Okay, here is where you put in your key code to activate Windows. Now, like I showed you in another video that I did, your Windows can be free if you have an old computer laying around that has that little sticker on it that says like Windows 7, and it has a, a key on it, which key code, which we call, and it's just your like serial numbers, what it looks like. So you just wanna put these, these numbers and letters into here, and then click next. Now, right now, I don't have a key to put in, so I'm gonna say, I don't have a key, product key, and I'm gonna do it later. So we just click, I don't have one. And then here, because the, the Windows 7 that I have that I'm gonna use for this license on this computer is Home, Windows 7 Home Edition. So I'm just gonna keep it on Home right here and we also wanna make sure that we're 64-bit on a newer computer, not 32-bit, okay? Now, if you had a Windows 10 Pro, then you would select Windows 10 Pro down here. So I'm gonna select Home. Continue. And here we just accept the license agreement. Next. Here we wanna click on Custom. And as you can see, this hard drive has nothing on it, so there's nothing here to delete. If it had a bunch of partitions right here, we would select on the partition of each one and click delete until it all looks like this when you're done. So here we're just gonna click next. And now you just sit back, relax, while it copies all the files from your USB drive onto your new drive, 
and uh, we'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay, we are at 98%. And once we get to here, 100%, it just does a few more things right here. And then we'll get to this screen and it's gonna restart on its own or you can just click on restart now. Now it's gonna reboot. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the USB drive because we don't want it to boot from that again. We want it to boot right on the hard drive. So we are booting. And here it'll be getting ready. This can take a little bit of time for it to get through all these next screens, but uh, just sit tight with it and go through it. Now it rebooted once more. Yours may do this too. There we go. Okay, so here we have to choose some things. So, of course, my region is United States, so I'm going to click Yes. And the keyboard I'm using is a US, so I'm going to click Yes. I don't have a second keyboard to uh, add, so I'm going to skip. Okay, it's asking me if I want to connect to the internet, and I'm going to say no. I'm going to say I don't have an internet connection. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you don't want to connect to the internet? And I'm going to say no. The reason I don't want to is because this newer version of Windows 10 will make you log into a Microsoft account, which I don't have. I don't want to use so we'll just skip the internet connection for now you can put whatever you want to name the PC here or you know your name or whatever I'm just gonna put Mike click next and I don't need a password on my home computer if you did want to put a password in you put it right here click next do more across devices with activity history they're trying to mimic Apple's, you know, like uh, iCloud where everything's attached to the same account. I don't use it, so I'm going to say no. And I'm not going to ask for any assistance from their digital assistant because it's probably advertising. These are your privacy settings. You can go over all of these individually if you like and allow or not allow Microsoft to get information from you. I'm just going to accept. Okay, this process will take a little bit of time, so just sit tight and we'll let it go through its thing. Okay, that was it. Pretty painless, I'd say. Now, what this computer's gonna do, I went ahead and hooked up back to the internet, and what this is gonna have to do is update a few of the drivers. It'll do it on its own, as long as you're connected to the internet. And you'll see, it. sometimes it'll ask you to restart Windows or, you know, it's going to restart Windows because it's going to do some updates. So let it just, let it do its thing. And uh, once you're done with all of that, you're ready to go. It's completely done. Now, I'm going to give you a tip. This is a cool little website to go to. It's called nightnight.com really cool site to go to to install a bunch of applications at the same time. So go to this website and you can install Chrome, you can install Firefox, all of these imaging programs, messages, messenger programs, docs. So when you're doing a fresh install, this makes it painless to just Select, here's your compression for unzipping files. You can select whatever you want. You've got free antivirus over here through Avas. I use Avas, I've been using it for years. It works great. You can download iTunes at the same time, VLC, any of these programs you want. This is all free. And then you go down here to the bottom, click Get Night Night, and just go ahead and run and it's going to install everything you checked in the background 
and you know you only have to go to one place you don't have to go to three four five different places to install a lot of just regular programs that you use okay so that's it on this one i hope you enjoy the video i hope it is useful to you and please like and subscribe if you cared about this at all and we'll see you on the next video